Hello, Let's Players uh, and YouTubers alike. Uh, this is Ultra Joe, and I'm gonna attempt my first Let's Play video ever. Uh, it may be a catastrophe, it may not, who knows. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna wing it. So, uh, anyway, we're gonna be doing some mod series. And the first mod we're going to be going through uh, is the new Bison Steve Hotel and Lucky Casino. That mod was created by Steve Honcho, a.k.a. Balak. And it's, I don't know, I have no idea how good this mod is because it's a blind playthrough. Why not? Your first uh, Let's Play video should always be blind, right? <laughs> Probably not a good idea. But we're going to go with it. With it. And you may forgive me prematurely for my strange way of speaking. I'm sure I'm going to stutter my words and say all kinds of crazy stuff. But you know what? This is talking and playing at the same time. And it's definitely new for me. So <laughs> we're going to see how it goes, like I said before. Anyway. Look at that gun. That's a nice gun, isn't it? AK, 74 u and you do not want to be staring down the barrel of that, especially with this girl right here that will kill you. Alright, so let's move on. I guess we're going to fast travel to Prim. Prim is a long walk from here. And I'm out of ammo, so we're not going to be using this gun until we get some ammo. Alright, anyway, let's get going. I'm going to do some fast traveling here. I'm questioning whether or not to, you know, make a long version of the playthrough, uh, whether or not I'll be uh, fast traveling or not. I'll see how it goes, but for now we're going to at least fast travel to Prim, where the mod will start. And here we go, guys. On our way to Prim. Alright guys, welcome back. We made it to Prim. And there's Eddie staring at me. How you doing, Eddie? And Eddie does not talk a whole lot. Let's get on our way here. Let's see what Deputy Beagle's up to. I hear the NCR and the Kings have been getting along. That's good news for Freeside. <laughs> Doesn't he look worried, guys? Looks worried to me. Is it really that cold? It must be pretty cold out. Alright, we're on our way. And we have had a fight going down recently, obviously. And by the way, the good sheriff is dead. And he's somewhere under the concrete. And he glitch, glitched out. Usually he makes a lot of noise. I came through here earlier just doing a little play testing, And he was making some noise down there. But I guess he has decided to move on. Robot Afterlife. And before I get going, just a little bit about myself. I'm a pretty low key guy, so you're not going to see me screaming and, you know, getting too over excited. Or not that, not over excited, I shouldn't say that, but just, you know, real excitable type of fella. But it's just not in me. <laughs> There's a lot of YouTubers like that, and they are doing a great job. But I am not one of those YouTubers. I am just going to be me, and you're not going to, also, you're not going to see a lot of cursing and, you know, dirty jokes and stuff like that. That's also not me. I'm a very strange fellow, and I'm, you know what? I've learned in life, it's just best to be yourself. And anyway, we're going to, we're going to move on from that there, a little, my little introduction, and there is the Vicky and Vance. Guys, if you're still with me after that little spiel... You know, this is where you start the mod, guys. Right through the store. You don't want to go into the Lucky Casino first. And, uh, you know, that you're, you're going to find uh, not much exciting going on right there. <laughs> you're not going to find that much excited going on there. See, guys, I'm still new at this. You know, my, my words are going to get all tangled up. This uh, whole playing and speaking thing is quite difficult for me. Maybe I'll get there eventually. There, Steve. This is who we need to speak with. We'll sit down and have a chat. Alright. How you doing? 
Well, I'll be damned. I heard through the grapevine you was still a-kicking. Hoped you might show up here. Well, word is, is you damn near come back from the dead. Damn miracle, if you ask me. I'll bet you do. Way I figure it, you either got a golden horseshoe stuck up your ass or an angel on your shoulder uh, looking out for you. Either way, that kind of talent might come in handy on a project I'm working on. You interested? Sure. Why not? Sorry about that. Reckon I got ahead of myself. Name of Steve, as in Bison Steve. Yep. That old place has been in the family for years, and I aim to rebuild her. But I need your help. Them goddamn convicts took over the town and got us locked up in here tighter than a virgin at Gomorrah. Hell yeah. Now that's what we need around here, is somebody to take that damn Brahmin by the horns. Now that fucking beagle's a pussy. Anyhow, I need that hotel cleared out and Granny's blueprints brung back to me. They's locked up in her safe up on the second floor. After that, you'll have to make sure things is peaceful enough around here for the town folk to get back to work. But the first thing I need is them blueprints. What do you say? Hmm. I need some caps. A whole lot of fucking caps, that's what. There ain't no casinos or a decent room around here for miles. If we can get some law in this town and get the old place fixed back up, we'd be set up to make a shitload of cash. You know what that makes us? It makes us partners. You ever wanted to stake in a casino? Here's your chance, partner. Yeah, I guess so. Let's do it. hell far. I was right about you after all. Listen. It ain't much, but here's a little stuff I stashed away for a rainy day, just in case. Come back and see me when you got them prints, and we'll go over the rest of the plan. Damn, I almost forgot. You'll need this key. Good luck, and be careful. Alright. <laughs> you know, when I first played this game and came in here, I got all excited. Because I read this. You know, all this 9mm submachine gun, blah, blah, blah. You know, I didn't have very good guns back then, and I was very disappointed to see that someone had came and stole the gun. I hear the NCR but anyway, I do think I know where I can find it, and we may do that another time in another video. Because I want that submachine gun. Speaking of guns, I think I should do a gun check before I walk in there. I'll probably be using this. That's such a great gun, guys. I'll show you the name of the gun. To be honest, I forgot. I forgot which mod gave me that gun. This gun may not be available on the Nexus any longer. In fact, I have quite a few guns that are not going to be on the Nexus, unfortunately, due to some legal disputes up there or something or another I, I don't know but I guess I was one of the lucky ones that saved saved a lot of the good mods and let's see and of course <laughs> if you remember I have no ammo for that so that won't work I uh, will be using let's go in there with an auto assault shotgun to A12, I believe. Oh, did I? Yep. A12. A A12 to be more precise. Let's see what we can find. You stay right behind me, Eddie. Of course, Eddie's gonna. Shout bells and whistles and blow my cover. <laughs> the guy had no chance.
some sound went out there for a second. That wasn't good. Oh, I'm cycling. Let's use this. <laughs> that guy brought a butter knife to a bazooka fight. So what that guy did. Alright, let's see. NCR, you know, that's not really taking off. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the NCR loot. Bottle caps. Some dirty water. We all need some dirty water occasionally. Some reading materials. Stim pack. What is this? SVI. This up there. Definitely going to take that. I have no idea what that is. And like I said before, I got quite a quite a bit of large amount of mods on here, and I'm always finding new guns. So it's definitely fun. Definitely adds to the replayability. And like like uh, this one here, I have no idea what that is. It's a 380, so I kind of got a somewhat of an idea what it is. And there's just 380 ammunition. Oh, it's got a stealth boy. And let's look at this guy. He's a convict, uh, convict bully, guys. That's what happens to bullies, people. Right there. Don't be a bully, guys. Anyway, that's my uh, public service announcement for the for the playthrough. Let's see. A varmint rifle. I do not need a varmint rifle. This place looks pretty secure. I think we're gonna move on upstairs. And if you notice, guys, I was kind of scrambling a bit. I kind of being a noob, scrolling through the guns. And which of what I have here is it's called a weapon, a weapon, uh, <laughs> weapon wheel. And I'll link it in the description. It's a great, it's a great idea, and it, it works great if you don't have a lot of weapons in your inventory which I have way too many and uh, I really shouldn't uh, that's, a, that's a great gun look at that gun well, let's see if I can zoom in this is probably not the best place to zoom in here but it is a great great weapon there anyway let's go on in I kinda like the over the shoulder view definitely uh it's pretty cool, but it really doesn't always work. We'll use it for now. Let's switch things up a bit. And do we want some Nuka Cola? And even if we did, it's empty. Eh, that's all right. Oh, what I was saying before before I go in here, that, that I believe that's large safe. Let's see. Yes, it is. Uh, the weapon wheel, guys, is great. Uh, you know, I definitely recommend it. And I am sure certain that's still on the Nexus. So anyway, very, very, very cool mod. Highly recommended. All right, let's get some first aid. Stim pack, dirty water, and we oh yeah, love the doctor specs. And there's the Bison Steve blueprints right there, guys. Mission complete. It's not too bad. Um, I can't remember if I said it or not, but I'm pretty sure I, I killed most of the enemies in here uh, a long time ago. So this part of the mission was not too complicated. And if anybody's still watching this, <laughs> why don't you guys leave me a comment in the, uh, below the, and uh, tell me how I'm doing. Am I doing completely horrible, or moderately horrible, or you know, okay? <laughs> I know, uh, I know the first time when anything can be challenging, and I am having a tough time here with the chatting. But I'll get there. I guess the more you practice, the better you get. You still gotta love those clunky animations. Oh my god, I'm in the middle of a sandstorm. Let me get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Eh, 
and it's never good to walk in a public place with brandishing a firearm. Let's uh, go ahead and put that up. And let's find Steve. Where's Steve? There's Steve. Is that Steve? Here, here. Do I have a chair? There's his chair. I like sitting and talking. I don't know. It just seems more appropriate. Hey, you got them blueprints yet? Oh, yeah. Great job, partner. These prints give me a good idea how much more stuff we need. It looks like we should be able to salvage enough material from around the hotel to get the basic stuff done. Won't be much, just walls and a floor, but it's a start. Some of the town folks are itching to get to work, but they won't hit a lick until we get some law in this town. The sooner we get a new sheriff, the sooner we can get to cracking. Think you can help? Yep. Nope. <laughs> the sheriff is dead, guys. Well, let's hope this new sheriff fares better than the last one. He did not. And God help us if he's anything like that retard beagle. That man couldn't find his own ass sitting on a toilet seat. Hey, I need a minute or two to go over these prints and supplies, okay? Won't you go wet your whistle and come see me in a little spell? All right. can do that. Do I want to play slots while I'm here? Let's play one round of slots. Just, uh, oh, oh, I gotta have chips on. I, I'm too lazy for that. Let's go have a drink. I'm too bit whiskey bottle. Too whiskey bottle. Fail, guys. There's nothing in here to drink. Let's have some water. <laughs> gotta keep hydrated. You know, I have that Project Nevada up mod which is a great mod uh, I should probably link that in the description as well I'm sure most of you guys have already have that if you're a mod, uh, love modding like I do I'm sure it's something you have already installed just in case there's some new Fallout New Vegas players you should definitely go grab it there's really I mean it does a lot of things it's really too many things for me to explain but if you that tower on the strip, oh, the one you can see for miles, I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Someone finally put down that sick motor runner son of a bitch. Good no, it's me. Anyway, yeah, you, you check that out, guys. It's a great mod. Project Nevada. Alright, let's hit out. Let's not hit out. Let's go back in. <laughs> let's just go back in and talk to Steve. I think we've, uh... Walked around a spell. We feel much safer opening the casino back up now that we have a sheriff. God, my memory. Where'd he go? There he is. Hey, thanks for helping out the town. We got a lot riding on this. Oh, yeah. And let's hope that things stays peaceful around here for a while. We's got work to do. Well, like I said earlier, this hotel's been in my family since long before I was born. It was my granny Lori's dream to restore. After she left, I found her journal with all her plans for the restoration. Seems she and old Buck Brunson had been working on this for months. Already had most of this stuff set up when she up in R U N N O F T. <laughs> uh, she done run off. Run off. When the convicts took over, it just broke her spirit like a wild bronc. Just couldn't take it no more. Well, sometimes we bend, sometimes we break, I reckon. Suppose she didn't believe she'd ever see her dream fulfilled and this place reopen. So she give up and let out for the West. Maybe if I can get word to her what we're doing, she'll come back. I don't know, though. Uh, yep, Texas Buck Brunson, to be more precise. High stakes poker player. Businessman and all around wheeler dealer, if it ever was one. Here it is, some kind of adventurer back in the day, too. He's got a nice place up in North Vegas. His niece Anna keeps the place up while he's gone. Yep, not too unlike yourself, huh? Don't know too much, but he used to do his share of prospecting up in Arizona. But then the Legion took over most of the area, and he settled down around here. He is getting a mite too long in the tooth to be doing that stuff anymore anyhow. 
So when he got Anna, he settled down quite a bit. Hey, she's also working with us on this project. She's got a few connections and she's haggling out some deals for our supplies. You'll want to get to know her for sure. Pretty little thing. Yep, she's keeping up his place while he's away on one of his poker runs to New Reno. You'll be meeting her soon enough, I expect. Most everything needed to finish the job. Blueprints, furniture, equipment, custom casino gear. This even says we're getting uh, coup tree mints, whatever the hell that is, from <laughs> Michelangelo's. Of course, you already knew about them blueprints. I'm a still studying on what all else we need. I'll let you know about each thing we need as I figure them out, okay? All right. Let's, what do we do? Well, now that we got a new sheriff, the workers can finish the demo and start getting the inside fixed up. Glad these town folk need something to do, because with all the help we got, it shouldn't take too long. But the next thing we need to do is get all the lights installed and back on. I think we can scrounge up plenty of the basic lights from around the hotel, but I just don't think anything we can dig up will work for the casino. For that, we just need something a lot nicer. I've been going through some of Grandma's journals and I found something interesting. Looks like old Buck Brunson had some lights ordered from some fella up in Vegas, but I ain't never heard of it. If we can find him and turn in this here order, they should be ready to ship if I read this right. Old Buck's niece, Anna, might know who this fella is. So you need to high tail it up to her and see what she knows. Hey, one last thing. Be sure and bring me a receipt. <laughs> Don't know if we can trust this fella or not. <laughs> he needs a receipt. Alright. Alright guys. Uh, I gotta say, this mod so far is pretty good. It's got a definite nice story going. And I like the idea of being able to fix up a broken, uh, broken uh, hotel and casino. It sounds like uh, it'll be pretty interesting. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. And I'll definitely be back. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'll wait for this sandstorm to pass. Or maybe I'll just brave it. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I'll see you guys.